Narfield, Narfield Gaming, and the Narfield brand is intended for an audience over the age of 17. If you are under the age of 17, you should not be watching this content. So you want to be the next Pace22, the next Summit 1G, the next top tier member on Steel Team 6. This is the perfect video for you. Today we're going to talk about the best hiding and tuck spots on the Sea of Thieves. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Pirate Emporium. Go down to the hide and seek emo bundle, grab that first one, it's free, and it's going to hide your gamer tag. Definitely going to need that. Next you need to head to the clothing shop and make sure you pick up a pair of dark pants, a dark shirt, dark boots, and dark gloves. This is going to increase your odds when you're hiding on an enemy ship. First, let's talk about hiding on islands. Make sure you're somewhere off the beaten path, push up against something maybe in a grassy area or something like that. But the main idea is you want to make sure that you have a good overview of what's going on on the island around you. On the outpost especially, you're going to want to take advantage of your surroundings. This can mean hiding behind a building, something like that, make great cover, and you can see when your enemies are going to turn in. Now this is one of my favorite spots. Just tuck right up underneath the dock, hiding in the water. They'll never suspect a thing. Now, while hiding just at the edge of the water can be a very sneaky trick, there is one thing that you're going to want to keep in mind. Although there's not exactly a tidal system in Sea of Thieves, in certain places the waves do rise and fall a little bit heavier than others. If you're not careful, this can get you pushed out of your spot. So you want to make sure that you get really good and locked in and that the waves aren't going to push you up and down. While we're here at a fort, let's talk about one of the most common, but arguably one of the better spots to hide. Now even if a player does come up here to check, a lot of times they don't look behind the cannon. Now let's move on to talking about ships. First up, the classic, behind the captain's chair. But while this is a good vantage point, if the crew gets any suspicion that someone's on their ship, it'll likely be the first place they check. Now, a better vantage point, and arguably a better place to hide, be right behind the captain's wheel. As long as you can get there when nobody's looking, you'll be virtually invisible, especially at night. As long as you can get here undetected, you'll have the best vantage point over the ship. On the galleon and on the brigantine, the front mast can be a good place to hide. You want to make sure that you're not facing straight towards the bowsprit. You're going to want to turn to the side so that your back sticks out and not your feet. Now this is hands down one of my favorite places on the galleon. Right behind the stairs. You have no idea about how many people will overlook this spot whenever the whole crew is sweeping the boat. They know somebody's here, but they won't be able to find you. Now, let's move on to the Brigantine. A lot of people know this spot right behind the voyage table, but here's the mistake they make. They will crawl right up next to the window and tuck there. The idea is you want to tuck right behind the table with your back turned to it, so that way nobody can see you. Now here's one a lot of people don't consider, right behind the wood barrel on the Brigantine. In my experience, time and time again, players will run right by you have no idea that you're there. This next one works on every ship type. A bit better on the galleon because the galleon has more cannons. But the idea is you want to take the cannon, turn it slightly to the side, and then just hide right next to it. Most players won't suspect somebody hiding top deck right out in the open. Next Let's talk about some of my favorite hiding spots on the sloop. In between the equipment and the vanity chest is a great way to keep yourself concealed as the players coming down the stairs won't be able to see you due to the middle beam and the barrels be right in the way. The next best spot on the sloop is behind the anchor, but you're going to want to make sure that you're looking towards the back of the ship, that way your head gets stuck in the anchor and nobody will be able to notice you. 
All right, now let's move on to what I think is the best spot to hide in all the Sea of Thieves. Bam, invisible. The trick is to get right on the edge of the canopy, wait for that drop down, and then go ahead and tuck. So as I was shooting this video, a brigantine stopped at the island next to me. So I figured, why not put some of my tips and tricks into action? I can throw that on the end. This is what happened. I made it down here behind the wood barrel without anybody noticing. And to my astonishment, the same guy runs by me like three times. Not a clue. At this point, I decided to poke my head up, see what these guys are up to, when I realized that we're pulling into an outpost. Now that they're anchored down at an outpost, seeing one of the guys run off with the chest, I know they're about to turn in, so it's time to strike. Even if you're by yourself, it's always embarrassing to whip the first sword lunge. All in all, made quick work of the first two guys. Due to the element of surprise, then helped them load up their rowboat and uh, kindly sent them uh, on their way. It's not always about the gold, sometimes it's about the glory. If any of this helped you out, maybe you learned some new hiding spots, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button for weekly Sea of Thieves content. See you guys out on the seas.